This is a proud city based on light industry. Like Swansea, it suffered heavy bomb damage at the end of the Second World War, and it's been trying to arrest its decline for years. It succeeded, and on a small budget. Betsan Powis has been to see how. Today, the majority of Groningen's 200,000 residents live and work in and around the city's historic core. Many of these ancient buildings have been sensitively converted to modern usage, and entirely new buildings have been designed and integrated into the fabric of the city with a sense of confidence. To make that happen, an overall vision for Groningen was needed. I think the beginning of good urban uh, development is uh, starting from the complete picture. You have to realize that a city is in a way a building. And uh, when you're not uh, connecting new developments to the existing structure of this building, there's a chance that uh, one day it will collapse. Uh, when you're making large extensions uh, on one side of the building, not in harmony with uh, the building as a whole, it becomes ugly and uh, you may lose visitors. Groningen is at the end of a railway line, so it's always attempted to attract visitors to the city. It's recently invested public funds in restoring its 19th century train station. This has been part of a broader plan to invest in cultural sites in order to draw visitors towards the centre of the city. When you arrive uh, at the railway station and you want to go to the inner city, the first thing you see is this exuberant museum and uh, you're confronted with uh, a very important aspect of, of our life, uh, which is culture. And you're immediately involved with the culture of the city. Having lost nearly all of its heavy industry in the 80s and 90s, it's the city's service sector and light industry that provide most jobs now. Gregory Ashworth is a professor of town planning. He taught in Wales before joining Groningen University in the 1970s. By Dutch standards, this is a poor town. This is one of the poorest towns in the Netherlands, in the poorest area of the Netherlands. It may not appear like that, but the, it's very high unemployment here. There's a lot of people on Social Security. It's merely that there's a high level of public investment, so it doesn't look as poor as it is. Just as in Swansea, blocks of modernist buildings were built on war-damaged land in the 50s and 60s. And here too there are plans for a brand new retail scheme. But in Groningen, the public will be asked to vote for or against the plans, which would be entirely paid for by Dutch banks and retailers. You can't uh, just uh, uh, finance uh, the development of a city out of your own government money. Uh, so you have to invest this money in such a way that a follow-up by the private sector is, uh, is uh, established. And that's been the key to the city's 20-year-old regeneration strategy. Confident public investment leading to privately financed developments. We made a, a scheme uh, in which uh, investment in public space was combined with uh, a, a strategy for redeveloping shopping areas and uh, combined with a scheme for parking garages. In this way we expelled a lot of uh, car traffic out of the inner city, we redecorated uh, the public space and uh, we stimulated new investment in shopping areas. The business interests have, have to be dragged kicking and shouting through every improvement that's happened in the last 30 years. They're nearly always against it when you start. They were against pedestrianization, for example, saying, oh, it'll be terrible, we'll be ruined. But once you can demonstrate that they're not ruined, it's not terrible, there, there is a lot of economic development on that sort of a city, then they come round. It just takes time. And as Groningen has turned things around, it's found that people's attitudes towards the city have changed too. We did have, uh, until about, I think, uh, ten years ago, a reputation of uh, being a complaining uh, region. Uh, always complaining about our backwardness, about uh, being a remote part of the Netherlands. And uh, this has changed. <laughs> There clearly is an urban vision here in Groningen. It's all around you. 
Despite hard times, careful public management has led to world-class city centre regeneration. And it's clear too that rebuilding along cultural lines can reap huge dividends for any city that's on the lookout for big business with big money to spend. If we can bring to Wales international best practice and cause people to think about it, then there will be progressive improvement. Bob Croydon has teamed up with architect Jonathan Adams to try to stimulate debate about the quality of our towns and cities. Responsible for designing the new Millennium Arts Centre, he's promoting the idea of a commission for the built environment in Wales. It would need to have a measure of control which straddled across local authority boundaries in order to prevent differentials occurring in standards that are applied between different local authorities. Scotland has its own chief architect. England has Lord Rogers Urban Task Force. Bob Croydon says we must catch up. It's a process of education that will hopefully start um, by teaching, shall we say, civics to primary school children. Uh, once people start to take an interest in the places that they live in and have a better understanding of the places that they live in, then their demands will, um, their demands will change. The Cardomas become a focus for the anti-Castle Keys Brigade. Whether these protesters are right or not, they are at least engaging in the kind of debate that Adams and Croydon are calling for. And they say that it's time now for more citizens, developers and local politicians to join in. It's not good enough to, as the council says, to sell the development to the community population of Swansea. Uh, the, the issues are much more important than that. We need to discuss what sort of city centre we like and how we're going to achieve it. I want to see Swansea progress, like everybody else in Swansea, I'm sure. You know, I am sure that the council has got Swansea at heart. So we're not going to argue with them to say, don't do it. But please don't do it in its present form. We're very confident that we can deliver something that's exciting that the people of Swansea will like. Uh, and which will draw people to Swansea and we're looking forward really to be able to get on with those designs and show them to the people of Swansea as soon as possible. If we listen to the critics of it, they've no problem because there's all these other people rush waiting to queuing up to come in. Uh, so we haven't got a problem. All I hope is, and I'm sure we'll have some of these critics on this programme who will be identifying themselves if MEPC walk away and these other people don't appear as they said, then uh, the public will know exactly who to blame if we don't have a redevelopment of the city centre. Swansea's councils say they have to work with the realities of development, but others say that as a nation we must now all raise our sights. Swansea is crucially important. Wales needs to be understood as more than just a, you know, a one city country for all sorts of reasons. The gap in standards in environmental equality, uh, which is widening between Cardiff and the rest of Wales, uh, is really highlighted by the difference in standards that seem to be being applied in Cardiff and in Swansea. Clearly then, there are two competing visions for the future of Wales's towns and cities. The first sees the city as accommodating the needs of business in the hope that regeneration and high quality surroundings will then follow. But those who hold the second view say that Unless you invest first in people and their environment, regeneration cannot be sustainable. Whatever the outcome here in Swansea, these arguments will run and run, because increasingly the future of our towns and cities is the future of us all. In next week's Under the Skin, farmers say they're suffering in the worst rural crisis since the 1930s. Is it time now for a major reappraisal of what we want from our farmers?